Hello! I'm Tom Varner and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I've stopped off in Poseyville, Indiana to eat at the Red Wagon. Now, I've stopped and eaten here a couple times at the Red Wagon. It is known for its delicious food as well as its somewhat unusual decor. One of the things I liked about eating here was the motif. I got appetizers, mushrooms, and my meal came at the same time. I got the steak sandwich and steak fries. Try the mushrooms first. Very hot, but extremely good. These are fresh mushrooms. Very good. Excellent. Six sandwich steak with cheese and horseradish sauce. Horse radish sauce on a hoagie roll. Very good. Excellent. Well, it must have been good, because I ate it all. Everything except for all the mushrooms. I'm taking some of those home. Well, I finished my meal, and this is going to give a short wrap-up of everything. Uh, at the beginning of this video, I had mentioned that the Red Wagon is somewhat known for its unusual decor. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you much of that. They have a room where along the walls hung up, but there's a lot of uh, taxidermied heads and things like that. Just things that are somewhat unusual for a restaurant. However, unfortunately due to COVID, I'm assuming, that room is blocked off. I mean, they had tape across it and some chairs piled there and it is not open to the public right now at this time. So. That was a little bit disappointing. I understand though, because of everything that is going on. In addition, uh, I just found out when I was walking in, is that their hours are not the same as they normally were. They are no, no longer open on Mondays. And on Sundays, the restaurant is closed at 4 p.m. So if you happen to be traveling down I-64, the stop up the red wagon to get yourself a delicious bite to eat uh, be aware of that um, that is not because necessarily because of the pandemic and all that stuff that's because of the labor shortage that 
seems to be happening everywhere across the country where nobody can seem to get enough people to work anywhere regardless of the industry you're in so yeah that's going on now those things aside the food here is delicious 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 it's very good excellent they give you very big portions I just had you saw the steak sandwich that I had it was on a huge hoagie roll that was cooked fresh this morning um, steak was you know cooked cooked medium well pretty much uh, fries steak fries are good and the mushrooms they were fresh mushrooms I haven't had that good mushrooms probably for a couple years since a, a local place at home closed down and they used to make fresh mushrooms sim similar to, to that but a little bit different but uh, they, were, they were very 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 good the other times I've come through here and stopped and eaten the food here has been excellent as well so really can't say the praises enough about the place for the food and actually even though they're short staffed the the waitresses and the wait staff they they were doing an excellent job I mean uh, waiting on everyone and making sure everybody had everything they needed and so kudos to them too so that is the Red Wagon in Poseyville, Indiana. It's uh, just across the border, not too far from Illinois, and about a half hour, 40 minutes or so away from Evansville, Indiana. Well, this has been another Adventure in TV Land. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about a future video or something else you'd like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you'd like this, like this video or any of the videos of Adventures in TV Land, you can help support this channel because we all need support. Adventures in TV Land does too. And you can do so by going to buy me a coffee and making a donation there. You can make a donation for as low as just $1 and help support the channel. Or you can become a monthly member for as low as just $3. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.